Ring Lake effect snow is expected to deliver heavy snowfall in parts of the US. More than 3 million people have been placed under snow warnings as the winter weather shuts down schools and disrupts the busy holiday period. In a shocking turn of events, New York and the Northeast were blindsided by a devastating Arctic blast, plunging the region into a deep freeze and dumping more than 40 inches of snow. The brutal weather triggered perilous conditions, resulting in a fatal road accident in Vermont. As temperatures nosedived and frost advisories reached as far as Florida, the impact was felt across the country. What caused this abrupt winter fury and how are communities dealing with the aftermath? Millions of Americans are in the path of another round of wintry weather with heavy snow in parts of the Northeast and freeze warnings as far south as Florida. Join us as we investigate the recent weather disaster in New York that has stunned the world. Before we delve into the details of the shocking event that has just occurred in New York, it's important to understand some context. New York is no stranger to extreme weather, but what happened recently in the state and the Northeast region was beyond anything ever seen before. A record-breaking snowstorm brought chaos and misery to millions of people. How did this happen? What were the factors that led to this unprecedented event? To answer these questions, we need to first look at the normal climate of New York and how it has changed over the years. New York has a diverse and dynamic climate, influenced by various factors such as its location, topography, and ocean currents. The state lies in the temperate zone, which means it experiences four distinct seasons, each with its own characteristics. The summers are hot and humid, with temperatures often reaching above 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The winters are cold and snowy, with temperatures sometimes dropping below zero degree Fahrenheit. The springs and autumns are mild and pleasant, with moderate temperatures and rainfall. The average annual temperature in New York City is about 55 degrees Fahrenheit, while the average annual snowfall is about 25 inches. However, New York's climate is not static, and it has changed over time due to natural and human-induced factors. Some of the natural factors that have shaped New York's climate include volcanic eruptions, solar activity, and orbital variations. These factors can affect the amount of solar radiation that reaches the Earth, the distribution of heat and moisture in the atmosphere, and the movement of air masses and ocean currents. Some of the human-induced factors include greenhouse gas emissions, land use changes, and urbanization. These factors can alter the composition of the atmosphere, the reflectivity of the surface, and the heat island effect of the cities. These factors have contributed to the observed trends of increasing temperatures, precipitation, and sea level rise in New York and the Northeast region. But what happened recently in New York and the Northeast was not a typical winter weather event. It was a rare and extreme phenomenon caused by a combination of factors that created a perfect storm of snow and cold. Imagine waking up to a scene of snow-covered streets, cars buried under piles of white, and temperatures so low that even breathing feels painful. Imagine having to deal with power outages, frozen pipes, and closed schools and businesses. Imagine being trapped in your home, unable to go anywhere or do anything. This is what millions of people in New York and the Northeast experienced recently as the rare and extreme winter weather event hit the region. So, what exactly was the cause of this unprecedented event? What impact has it had on the community? Let's find out. One of the main factors that contributed to the massive snowfall was the Arctic blast, a surge of cold air that originated from the North Pole and moved southward across the United States. Arctic blast brought frigid temperatures as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit in some places and strong winds as high as 60 MPH in others. The cold air interacted with the relatively warmer water of the Great Lakes, creating a phenomenon known as lake effect snow. Lake effect snow occurs when cold air passes over a large body of water, picking up moisture and heat. 
and then releases it as snow on the downwind shore. The contrast between the cold air and the warm water creates instability and convection, which leads to the formation of clouds and precipitation. Lake effect snow can produce very heavy snowfall, especially when the wind direction is parallel to the lake's axis, allowing the air to travel a longer distance over the water and accumulate more moisture. This is what happened in this case, as the wind direction was from the west to the east, aligning with the orientation of Lake Erie. The snow then shifted northward, affecting other parts of the northeast, such as New York, Pennsylvania, and New England. Another factor that amplified the lake effect snow was the presence of a strong low pressure system, which formed over the northeast and enhanced the wind speed and direction. The low pressure system was part of a larger pattern of atmospheric circulation known as the polar vortex, which is a large area of cold air that swirls around the North Pole. The polar vortex is usually contained by a jet stream, a fast-moving current of air that circles the globe at high altitudes. However, sometimes the jet stream can become wavy and distorted, allowing the polar vortex to weaken and split into smaller pieces. When this happens, some of the cold air from the polar vortex can escape and plunge southward, bringing Arctic conditions to parts of the U.S. This is what happened in this case, as a piece of the polar vortex broke off and moved over the northeast, creating a strong low-pressure system that intensified the lake-effect snow. The consequences of this event on the people and the environment were devastating, as millions of people faced various challenges and dangers. The heavy snowfall caused power outages, as trees and power lines were brought down by the weight of the snow and the force of the wind. The power outages affected more than 300,000 customers in New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey, leaving them without heat, light, or communication. The transportation system was also disrupted, as roads, railways, and airports were closed or delayed by the snow and ice. Many people were stranded in their homes, cars, or public places, unable to reach their destinations or return to their families. The health risks were also high, as the cold temperatures and the exposure to the snow increased the chances of hypothermia, frostbite, and respiratory infections. The snowstorm also posed a challenge for the emergency services, as they struggled to reach the affected areas and provide relief. The snowplows, ambulances, fire trucks, and police cars had difficulty navigating the snow-covered and slippery roads, and the visibility was low due to the blowing snow and the whiteout conditions. The emergency workers had to work long hours, risking their own safety and health to clear the roads, restore the power, and assist the people in need. The event also raised questions about the effects of climate change on the frequency and intensity of such extreme events, and the preparedness of the society and the infrastructure to cope with them. Some scientists suggested that the warming of the planet could make the jet stream more unstable and the polar vortex more prone to splitting, leading to more frequent and severe Arctic outbreaks. Others argued that the event was a natural variability and not a sign of climate change. Regardless of the cause, the event highlighted the vulnerability of the society and the infrastructure to such extreme events and the need for more adaptation and resilience measures. Meanwhile, one of the tragic incidents that occurred during the snowstorm was a fatal road accident in Killington, Vermont, which claimed the life of one person and injured two others. The accident involved a bus that was carrying 32 passengers, mostly students from a nearby college, who were returning from a ski trip. The bus was traveling on a snowy and icy highway when it lost control and skidded off the road. The bus then overturned and landed on its side, trapping some of the passengers inside. The Vermont State Police responded to the scene and extricated the passengers from the bus. One of the passengers, Mark J. Candon, a 71-year-old man, was pronounced dead at the scene. The bus driver and an unnamed female passenger suffered minor injuries and were transported to a local hospital, 
The rest of the passengers were uninjured and were taken to a nearby shelter. The Vermont State Police said that the weather conditions were a factor in the crash and that the investigation was ongoing. The authorities issued several warnings and advisories to the public, urging them to stay indoors and avoid unnecessary travel as the snowstorm continued to affect the region. The lake effect snow warnings, which were in effect for parts of the Northeast, expired at 7 a.m. Wednesday, but the weather conditions remained hazardous. The National Weather Service in Buffalo issued warnings about sharply dropping visibility during peak travel times on Wednesday morning, as the wind and the snow reduced the visibility to less than a quarter of a mile in some places. The Buffalo police issued a winter weather advisory at 4 a.m., urging drivers to exercise caution due to poor visibility and near whiteout conditions, which made driving extremely difficult and dangerous. The New York State Department of Transportation also advised motorists to reduce speed and increase following distance on the roads as the roads were covered with snow and ice and the plows were still working to clear them. The authorities also asked the public to check on their neighbors, especially the elderly and the disabled, and to report any emergencies or power outages. Meanwhile, the snowfall details were staggering, as some areas received more snow in one day than they usually get in a whole season. Constableville, New York, experienced the heaviest snowfall, with a recorded 42.7 inches of snow in the first significant lake effect snow of the season. This was more than the average annual snowfall of 41.4 inches in the village, according to the National Weather Service. In contrast, other areas that received over 30 inches of snow include Redfield, New York, with 40.5 inches, and West Seneca, New York, with 34 inches. Due to the lake effect snow, the current conditions are still snowy in some areas, particularly around the Great Lakes, with light snow showers and possible wind effects. While heavy snow is not expected for the rest of Wednesday, an inch or two of additional snow is still possible. The region also experienced the coldest morning of the season, reaching the upper 20s in New York City. In addition, frost and frost advisories were issued across the East Coast, including Florida, with temperatures expected to drop near or below freezing, potentially impacting crops. However, the cold weather is not confined to the Northeast, as much of the U.S. is experiencing cold temperatures. Weather Channel meteorologist Dominica Davis emphasized the widespread grip of cold conditions across the country. We have freeze warnings all the way down to the Gulf Coast. This is very unusual for this time of year, she said. We also have wind chill advisories in effect for parts of the Midwest and the Plains, where it feels like below zero in some places. The upcoming weather outlook is not very promising, as cold conditions are expected to persist in much of the U.S. While parts of the Southwest may experience milder weather, the rest of the country will remain under the influence of the polar vortex. The polar vortex is a large area of low pressure and cold air surrounding both of the Earth's poles. It always exists near the poles but weakens in summer and strengthens in winter. Sometimes the polar vortex expands and sends cold air southward with the jet stream. As a result, the National Weather Service forecasted that below average temperatures will continue through the weekend, with another round of snow possible for the northeast on Friday. The weather agency also warned that another Arctic blast could arrive next week, bringing even colder air to the U.S. What safety measures are in place to cope with the cold spell in the region? As the cold spell swept across the country, authorities took action to inform and protect the public from the potential risks and impacts of the extreme weather. They issued weather warnings, advisories, and alerts to alert the people of the dangers of frostbite, hypothermia, heart attack, frozen pipes, and road accidents. They also provided tips and recommendations on how to stay safe and warm during the cold spell, such as dressing in layers, covering the mouth and nose, avoiding overexertion, wrapping exposed pipes, sealing gaps and openings, and checking on neighbors and pets. In addition to informing the public, 
The authorities also prepared for the challenges of the cold spell by ensuring adequate supplies of salt, sand, and cat litter for road safety, as well as equipment and personnel for clearing snow and ice from the roads and roofs. They also coordinated with emergency services, power companies, and healthcare providers to respond to any incidents or outages caused by the cold spell. While the authorities were busy dealing with the effects of the cold spell, the experts also suggested some ways to prepare for the upcoming extreme cold weather, such as updating the winter car survival kit, stocking up on non-perishable food and water, having a backup power source, and keeping a charged cell phone. They also advised to monitor the signs and symptoms of frostbite and hypothermia, and to seek medical attention if needed. The cold spell was a test of resilience and preparedness for the people and the authorities. It also revealed the complexity and variability of the weather and climate systems. The cold spell may be over soon, but the impact will last for a long time. What are your thoughts about the recent weather conditions in New York? Have you ever experienced a cold spell? How did you cope? Share with us in the comments. Thanks for watching, fam. While you're still here, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen. It's mind-blowing.